Okay, in the interest of uh, just giving you the message when it comes to uh, the state capitals and memorizing it, I'm going to try to get this under five minutes, so I already wrote everything in that is the mnemonic that you need to remember. Okay, first off, you know about Juneau, Alaska. You just you, you know about it. You know you want to take a cruise there. You want to, you want you know you want to go to the wild and explore. Honolulu in Honolulu, Hawaii. Honolulu is where you would go with your honey to uh, get married or go to the beach and all that kind of wonderful stuff. So that's Honolulu. Now, moving from west to east, you have Olympia. Washington, okay? If you had the Olympics, you'd be washing a ton of clothes in Olympia. In Salem, Oregon, you've got your witch trials. I don't think that that really happened there, but, you know, you've got witches in Oregon that are, like, hiding in the forest. Or you could think of Salami, Oregon, because they like to eat salami there. Boys see a lot of girls in this part. Uh, you're talking about Hannah Montana over here with Helena Montana. Your boys see Helena and they get interested automatically. Then they see Cheyenne below Helena hiding in the shadows here. But Cheyenne wants attention too. Then you got Salt Lake City in Utah. This actually looks like a salt box back in the old days before they were cylindrical shape. So you could pour the salt out of the top here. But there's also a lake here to remind you about Salt Lake City. In Colorado, you've got John Denver, and you can, if you don't know John Denver and his music, you could think about, then where is Denver? Then where is it? Then where is he? Whatever. Just say, think, in Colorado, then where is their capital? Okay? Uh, Arizona is very hot. So you've got a phoenix trying to rise above the ashes in Arizona, and Phoenix, Arizona is the capital. Santa Fe in New Mexico. Santa has to pay a fee to get new products in Mexico uh, before he can give it to the kids. Okay, um, we talked about that, but remember how there was all these ladies over here and the relationship between Boise, boys seeing, you know, Helena, Cheyenne, but over here, there's a lady named Dakota, like Dakota Fanning, and she has a sister named South Dakota. South Dakota's got Pierre, North Dakota, Mrs. Mark, she misses Mark so badly. It's, you know, she's always into his biz. So you got to be thinking about Bismarck and Dakota. And North Dakota being jealous of South Dakota because she's got a French guy. And all the ladies like Frenchmen. So we've got Pierre in South Dakota. Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln does not like Pierre because he is not a snooty guy. He, he likes people that are down to earth. Pierre is snooty because he's from France. But Lincoln, you know, whatever, he's like, I'm cool, I'm humble, I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm not gonna be a, make a big deal about my neighbor over there. But Lincoln, you know, part of it is he doesn't like Pierre very much. So much so that he'd rather be on top of Pierre. And you got Topeka in Kansas. You could also think that Kansas looks like a toe, and then you could say, why are you looking at my toe so much? Why are you being such a Topeker? And people will tend to look at your toes if you have them busted, you know, petrified toenails because you jammed your toe or something and then so your toe looks black like all, a lot of old people have that let me point out something really obvious I'm going to point out that Oklahoma City is just named after its state so the capital Oklahoma City is just named after the state so let me point that out to you below that you have Texas and Texas has a boy named Austin and in Austin, Texas, that's, that boy Austin loves to play baseball. So he's holding a bat. And his bat is on Baton Rouge, Louisiana. There's a bat on Louisiana. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Above that, we're going to go back all the way to the top here to St. Paul. And I told you about how Dakota misses Mark. Well, she's got a lot of guys around her, too, and we know how that is. So she's got her eye on Paul in St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, and some guys like to think of STP, the automotive uh, engine additive. Uh, if you're a gearhead, then that's relevant. I owe a lot of money. 
That money is Des Moines in Iowa. I owe a lot of money. That money, I owe a lot of money. So, um, Jefferson is in Missouri. Jefferson City, Missouri. Okay, now you don't have to be miserable to be in Jefferson City. Um, you just have to think that Jefferson City, um, this kind of looks like the Declaration of Independence. And we know Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. So this is a scroll right here. And you unscroll it, and who's in the middle of Missouri? Jefferson City. Now here's a little rock. It kind of looks like a rock if you look at it. And that's Arkansas. Okay, we got all the way down to Baton Rouge. Now we're looking at the Mad Sun in Wisconsin. Well, take a look at his face. He's kind of mad right here. He's like grouchy. He's got a nose and everything. Uh, these are the crazy pair. We got the Mad Sun in Wisconsin. And we got the crazy laughing brother in Michigan. Okay, so we got the laughing. They're like, ah! And then we got the mad guy over here. So there's kind of insanity going up here. We keep going, and we got ill noise. What's that ill noise I hear? Boing, boing, boing. It's an ill noise. Think about Springfield. Boing. <laughs> Indian Apolis is related to Anna Polis over here in Maryland. Anna Polis. You could think they're Polish brother and sister. Could be. Uh, or maybe they just like to polish things. Okay, so we got Indianapolis over here. Um, and if you look at Ohio, the letters look like binoculars. And so who's exploring with those binoculars in Ohio? Well, Columbus is, of course. As we continue on toward the east, we're not going to go toward the south yet because we'll get that pocket later. You've got Harris Burgers in Pennsylvania. It's a nice burger chain in Pennsylvania, I'm sure. So we got Harris, who loves to eat burgers in Pennsylvania, and it actually looks like a hamburger in there, if you draw it. Um, in New York, you've got Al. Al is banned from joining in New York. So we got Al ban New York, or Al is in New York. But maybe he's got banned because no one likes Al in New York. So Al, New York, Albany. Um, in Vermont versus, you got to think about Vermont versus New Hampshire. They are always contrarian to each other. They always want to battle each other. It's like a yin yang symbol: good versus evil. And we don't know who's evil and who's good in this um, story. But we got Vermont here. And the funny thing about Vermont, that's easy, because the end of the name has Mon the beginning of the capital name, which is Montpellier. So Vermont, Montpellier, is right here. But true to the nature of New Hampshire, they're always going to be contrary uh, to Vermont. So we have Concord, New Hampshire, versus Montpellier, New York. Maine is beautiful in the fall, so we think about August and Augusta, Maine, is the capital. As we head toward the south, we have Massachusetts, and I know this is morbid, but it's Boston Massacre. Reminds us of Boston, Massachusetts, as the capital. You have Rhode Island, which is an island, and it's hard to get provisions and uh, supplies, so we always want to provide Rhode Island with stuff. And so we remember Providence, Rhode Island. Connecticut is where all hearts like to connect. So we go to Hartford, connect Connecticut. Okay. Now, New Jersey is for those NBA lovers, people who love to watch NBA, all you NBA fans. You ever heard of the new guy, Trenton? Well, Trenton needs a New Jersey if he's going to play. So think about the NBA. Um... Below that, we have Dover, Delaware. You gotta be Delaware, you don't fall Dover into the ocean. Because you're right on the coast there. Below that, you have Maryland. And I told you about how Maryland, uh, over here, has Anna Polis, who lives there. Or the Polish um, sister of Indiana, Indian, Apolis. <laughs> we love to dance in West Virginia. 
they're doing a little jig over there. It's called the Charleston. It's from the 20s. But they still are really, really into that dance. In Virginia, um, there is the country's capital right here. That's, that's uh, D.C. right here. And um, that's Washington, D.C. And inside of Washington, D.C., there are a lot of rich men. Because there are a lot of rich men in Virginia, we think about what? That's right. Richmond. Richmond, Virginia. I didn't write that in earlier. Sorry. So, Richmond, Virginia. After that, you have, right adjacent to it, Frank Fort. And they like to play um, Nerf Wars over there, and they build cushion forts. Frank loves to build his cushion forts with his sofa cushions. So, Frank's fort is really strong in Kentucky. Uh, in Tennessee, I like to think about all the T and the E in there. It reminds me of teeth. And what do you do when you're angry? You gnash your teeth. So think about gnashing your teeth in Tennessee, and their capital is Nashville. Uh, below Virginia, you have North Carolina and South Carolina. North Carolina is where all the 13 uh, colonies originally like to rally together. So you think about rallying, rally, North Carolina. In Columbia, south uh of south carolina caroline likes columbia clothing because she's a really outdoorsy girl she likes to go outdoors all the time so she likes her columbia clothing uh these three over here would be ms or mississippi you remember michael jackson because jackson um mississippi is the state that's the state capital uh you think of a m the initials for Alabama because you're thinking about Montgomery, Alabama and AM is in the morning. So morning, you think good morning, Montgomery, and you think Michael Jackson, MJ from Mississippi, Jackson. Okay. Finally, uh, we come to the last two. Uh, I could save this one for the last and I'll tell you why in a minute. But if you see the Florida has a shape of a horse head and I figured out you can actually tell a horsey all your problems or tell a horsey to not flip you off their back when you're riding it uh, and so that will remember, remind you of Tallahassee and at last we get to Georgia Atlanta Georgia or you could think of the maybe George is like Georgia the jungle and he's a very strong guy so maybe you remember that by thinking of the strong um, Atlas the strong guy who lifted up the earth or something like that according to legend so that's everything. Uh, hopefully that helps. Thank you for watching.